When Nintendo commandeered uh, Let's Play videos, well, their revenue that they had cre created on YouTube earlier this year, they drew a hard line in the sand, which was you cannot make money off of Let's Play videos. But Let's Play videos are a huge part of not only YouTube, but uh, gaming on the internet as it is. It's a, uh, well, Twitch is also a big outlet, and you know, Vimeo to a, a lesser extent, but YouTube is the big, the big kahuna of, of uh, Let's Play. I was actually surprised to learn that there are non-Let's Play videos on YouTube. I thought it was literally the whole thing. See, there are so many. There are a ton, and you know, we have like PewDiePie, and it, it's, it's pronounced this, PewDiePie, right? Yes, PewDiePie. That second biggest channel on YouTube. And then right we now. also have uh, Yogg's Cast, and these are these are huge channels, and it literally is a humorous commentary over video games. It's not that they created them, but it's it's kind of a, a new entity in and of itself, kind of like mystery science theater, you know? Sure. And not only are there like dozens of enormous channels, but thousands of small channels doing these things. E just on Machinima even, they have 5,000 partners, partner channels, and they're one of the biggest channels on YouTube, if, if not, not the, the biggest. biggest. Yeah. Yes. So it seems like if we have uh, Let's Play Videos as such a big entity of online videos, and then we have div publishers saying, well, you can't, you cannot get make, make money off of our uh, copyrighted material. It seems like there's a little disconnect there. I feel like this is a great opportunity to be making a lot of free marketing for these games. Like for instance, we have Minecraft, which was kind of a smaller game for in the beginning, and then people started making videos, and then that helped propel sales of the game. Yeah, there's, there's kind of two ways to think about this. One is, I think for the most part, video game footage and video game Let's Plays on the internet, for the most part, I think increase sales and increase interest and buzz about just about any game. Mm -hmm. I think in the case of more uh, cinematic games, mm -hmm. games where it's like an experience, very movie-like, sure. um, that, that experience sort of takes away from it from the experience of playing if you've seen it ahead of time. So Not I to me, but sure. No, I understand, I understand. <laughs> the other thing to consider is normally video game companies would only put the kibosh on these videos if there was a way that they could be making money off of it. And for the longest time, there wasn't. Well, I actually have a, a counter argument to that. If you watch shows like, well, before G G4 took X-Play and all their shows off air, they were making money off of showing video game footage and reviewing the games and talking about the games, not always good, and just even playing them. Why can't people online be making that kind of revenue off of the, the game itself? Why is that not okay? Well, I mean, it could be that the G4 had partnerships with these companies and, uh, you know... They don't have a partnership got, with every well, game on get, the channel. Perhaps they approached the publishers and distributors and developers and asked for permission and received it. See, I don't agree with that because they, they review games, the they give them bad reviews. There's no way anybody paid for that. No, I mean, they, now we're going back into game journalism. And game companies will send journalists games to review for the purpose of publicity. Yeah. Now, there's kind of a I scratch, I scratch your back, you scratch mine kind of thing where you don't really want to give bad reviews to the well, companies that give you Well, if you give them give a bad review, games. they'll stop giving you the games. Exactly. So it's beneficial for the journalists to be soft on the reviews, and then that's a whole other argument. Mm -hmm. This is sort of the Wild West of game journalism and interpretation because there's no vested interest in the Let's Players to review or play these games in a favorable light. Yeah, but I think of it as more, it's, it's there for marketing. I mean, I don't think they should be treated differently, even though, you know, yes, journalists are more likely to give a good review because they're getting the game for free, but doesn't that seem wrong too? Doesn't that seem like uh, kind of a pay to play or, or paying for good reviews? It's just, it doesn't seem fair. I feel like it's more fair to put it in the hands of an impartial person. So when they have a good time with the game, that shows how great the game actually is. It, they may be impartial, but it certainly takes the experience out of the core user's hands. Just like uh, Apple has strict scrutiny over every app that can be installed on the iPhone because they want to control the user experience. These are experiences outside of Nintendo's control. It's up to other you know, hugely popular um, personalities to kind of shed light on these games. That's, I think, why Nintendo had a problem with it. 
The other point... Well, they, they reversed that view, by the way. That's true. They the did end up changing their minds on that. Thanks to a public outcry. Well, good. There should have been a public yeah, um, outcry. Yeah, great. I mean, supply and demand. Right. You know? um, the other thing to consider, though, is look at some of the features of the PS4 and the Xbox One yes. and the Wii U, and you're seeing internet connectivity. You're seeing gamers There's connect built -in DVR in with the each PS4. other to record things and upload them and watch them and like user playthroughs and like this part of the game is super hard, so I couldn't beat it, so I like logged into the server to see how other people beat it. That's like a huge part of the next generation exactly. consoles. Exactly. So I feel like when they're saying, oh, you can't do this, we forbid you from doing this, it's a huge mistake. It's kind of not going with the way the future of video games and the internet and their connection with each other is going. So. Yeah, this is a huge missed opportunity, at least from my point of view. Well, they, they recognize it, that it is a huge part of the gaming culture now, mm -hmm. but they want to do it on their own terms. No. They want you to use the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One and the Wii U to look at these videos where they can screen them and scrutinize them and, and filter them rather than the untamed YouTube wilderness. So they want to I censor think. them, is what you think. In, in weird terms, yes. Yeah, no, I don't think that's going to work. I mean, eventually, I think they're going to have to go with this wave. What do you think, Internet? Let us know in the comments.